Mountain really Dew. good. What was your favorite Mountain Dew back in the day, though? Like, you remember when? You remember when like Code Red just first came out? Uh, you remember Voltage? Code Red? Nah, I didn't really. Code Reds. I don't really like red sodas. I'm not a big red soda. Fan. I like don't know. You don't like cherry or what? Don't you? No, like? I do. I just like the red, like you know, like the big red soda and stuff. You know how there's always like. Like oh, big red. The one, that red. Has, the one that has the Native American on it. No, oh, but maybe. You've had know. that, though. Yeah. Because that, that was, you know what's weird? That's more of like an East Coast, like Midwest thing. Mm. Big red. It is, yeah. It was really yeah. good, though. I liked it. But I mean, it. I'm just, like I said, not, I a, big, don't agree not a red with soda. What they did. I think, like, cherry Coke is good, but, like, cherry soda. Do you like cherry vanilla is not things? Very good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Vanilla cherry vanilla snow favorite. cones. Vanilla is my favorite. Like, like I love when it's just like Coke vanilla. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, got, yeah, like that, like or like Doctor Pepper or cherry vanilla. vanilla, like Coke. Yeah, so oh, good dude. Pepsi, dude. I I've been doing that a I lot love lately. Vanilla shit. I've been having a Coke with vanilla, not a lot, like once a week. I'll go get Where? a Polar Pop. Oh, Polar Pop. Vanilla. Oh, because they have they have the little Actually, shots the che- you can put in. No, or whatever? the Cherry Coke. That's the shit. Because they have the shots you can put in, right? Not the Circle K that I go to, but I think, yeah, oh, I've QT seen Circle does K's that. Have it. Oh, QT might do it, yeah. too. No, you're right. You're right. I, really? I have seen Circle Ks do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they just have cherry they used to do. They used to have the energy drips, the shots that you could put in, and I used to get oh, those while yeah, I was landscaping. Like straight up so I'd have, I would have Mountain Dew, and then I would have fucking a Red Bull Dude, energy mixed into Dude, you want to have a heart attack at 27. You're wondering, why, like, yeah, I would wonder why I felt really bad at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning in 120 degree weather. It's because I had a Mountain Dew. Oh, so you did this recently. No, no, no. This was back when I was landscaping. Okay. In the yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, back. welcome back to the... Uh, welcome back. Welcome Dude, back. I was, I was straight up blooding right there. All right. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't <laughs> welcome say that. Welcome back. Um, <laughs> I, sh- I probably shouldn't say that. Welcome, uh, welcome back. back to the uh, Lover Boys. Uh, you know us, so yeah. shut the fuck up. Um. Yeah, no, I, so you think this is your favorite Mountain Dew, though, for sure? Uh, like, okay, all right, give me top three. Give me top three. I really voltage, like that Raspberry Baja, Voltage, Baja Blast, oh, fuck, Summer Breeze. Baja. Voltage has always been my favorite. That's why it's number one, baby. Yeah, dude, Voltage has always been my favorite. Voltage what, is good. What, what flavor is it? This it's might like actually, this might thing, actually right? put... This might actually put Baja Blast. No, bro, Baja. At three. You're putting Baja down, dude. I think so. What? Yeah, dude. This stuff is so good. That's blasphemous. It's, oh, it's like, it is really fucking good. Have you is, bought it? Did you buy it or sugar. you just drink no, it at my place? I'm just drinking it head at your place. Yeah, oh. bro. I mm. so I bought four cases of it because it was on sale at Fry's. It Jesus was like buy Christ. buy two get like a certain amount off. So I was like, ah, I drink it with my cocktails. I drink it with everything. I know you guys drink it too. So I was mm-hmm. like, okay, cool. Like that's easy. We just but, we're just promoting antifreeze cuz that's all Mountain Dew is. Bro, I would love for Mountain Dew to sponsor this. Like I do not care. Like Mountain Dew, I know you're not listening, but like maybe someday like 3 years from now when we're way bigger like you're listening right now and you go back and you hear about Mountain Dew How we talk we about fucking you. fucking love you. Yeah. I'll be honest like I know a lot of people give Mountain Dew shit. I know it's cancer. I won't wear like the shirt and I probably wouldn't do I like, would never. I probably wouldn't do like a Mountain Dew commercial. No, like, no, no. Like, I you would know ne- how like Charlie oh, no, I would do a Mountain You know how Charlie sure. Day did like a Mountain Dew commercial? Yes, I would totally do a commercial. Oh, you remember Lil so. Wayne? Lil Wayne did Mountain Dew commercials back in yeah. the day, dude. Dude Okay. Cam a lot might, of skaters. Cam like, might not, but I would totally I do your who, Mountain who Dew else? commercial. Sean Malta was sponsored by Mountain Dew. He did like a, he's a skateboarder. I was going to say, who is that? There's a bunch of other people that were sponsored well, yeah, by Yeah, Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew and skateboarding goes together like fucking beans and rice. What mm-hmm. do you mean? Yeah, like, it's true. Like, it's true. <laughs> it's just what it is. Yeah. What energy <laughs> drink do you think is more skateboarder-esque? Like Red, what? Red what Bull. is the most? Red Bull. Totally disagree. It's Monster. Yeah, I mean, like, what the kids drink, Monster. But I think, like, what, the pros, you know, like... Oh, the pros. Oh, the rich-ass people Yeah, that we're talking afford. about Tony Hawk and yeah, shit. They're, like, they're yeah, they're sponsored yeah, yeah. by... I thought you meant, like, sponsored. But no, like, no, yeah, no, no, no. One no. of the skate I mean, parks, Monster. One of the skate parks. They're drinking Monster, yeah. right? No, they're actually crushing Polar Pops. Oh, well, yeah, dude. Polar Pops yeah. are the best. The kids up here in Anthem, they'll, they'll like, literally... Whoa! Doxing me! Oh, shit. Oh. The kids up here... <laughs> oh, shit! In this neck of the woods. I mean, it's it's kind of big up here, so it's fine. But, yeah, yeah. But I still, mean, fuck. <laughs> well, you're like. No, 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 You're no, in an no. area where people won't. Huh? They won't look. You know, you're like very hidden. 
Yeah, there it is. There it is. Seclusive. Good, 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 good track. He's in an underground bunker. Good, yeah, good track. We're actually underground right now. Yeah, we're completely underground. This is my underground record room. Underground, underground record room. room. Anyway, we're gonna ignore that. God damn it. Uh, yeah, the kids in this area. <laughs> When I used to go to the skate park a lot, when I, when yeah, I first moved out here. Big skate park kid. All I know is Cam is a 27-year-old man who was going to the skate park. No, 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 I 14 year olds. That's all not, I know. Have not been to the skate That's park. That's all I know. Have not been to the skate park like that. How many years? A long, like two? Five. No, bull. Four. No, okay, like, that like is actually. That fucking shit. Like actually, I have text messages where you were like, I was just at the Anthem skate park. I'll dox it again. Yeah, he but like, I, I usually go there's no one ago. there. Or I'm like going in the middle of the day. I don't know. Um, Sounds like that's where Or I'll Cam's go for like getting. 15 minutes. Like, I don't go long. I feel like Cam's. The last time I went, like, for all, like uh, two plus hours was when I was like 21, maybe 22. Still kind of old for the 13. But anyway, they all the leave park. and they skate up to the Circle K and they all come back with like Polar Pops. And that's. Never, they never had monsters. And then Cam gave them LSD. And then, yeah. Because he I, was clearly their drug yeah, dealer, yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. That's it what was I like, did. It was like the cool 21-year-old That's kids That's what everyone here. liked me up there, yeah. Yeah. I actually never talked to anybody You ever sold there. weed? Nope. You ever sell drugs? Nope. Did you smoke weed back in the... Why would... No, I'm not... I'm not, I'm not I plead the fifth. Was this an interview? Bro, what are you... You're asking if I what, sell drugs? What are, what, yeah. What the fuck... Bro, this is uh what what's it called, Joe? What's what's the what's the thing where like it's been too long? So you can't get charged for it? Oh, statute, statute of limitation, baby. Yeah, well I, Jay-Z I, sold millions of drugs and he can't get charged that's for his, it now. That's part of his personality now. Yeah? Have I, you sold drugs? No. Yeah, you have. <laughs> no, I literally have not. <laughs> what the fuck? I just think these are super appropriate <laughs> questions. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me if I've sold drugs. I'm not. I don't care. I didn't. I <laughs> know you haven't. <clears throat> yeah, you know. <laughs> You're a white boy from Pennsylvania. Yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't sell say. drugs. Now, I, dude, I knew a guy though that sold a lot of cocaine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there were two guys I knew. Uh, one of them, <laughs> name is Barry. He uh. Docs. It's just his first name. Good luck finding a Barry in Pennsylvania. Oh, like, he's in Pennsylvania. He's yeah, not out here. It's Pennsylvania. No, this. So it's not. It's not somebody's last name who I'm about to say right now and dox them fully. Oh, dude, I know exactly who you're talking about. That <laughs> guy <laughs> looks like he does cocaine. He looks like he does. He's he's for sure on something. Uh, probably like Adderalls, I would assume. Picture the gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> no. What uh, are they called? Uh, Barry. Uh, who owns back, them? <laughs> back in Pennsylvania, he uh. Oh, yeah, sold major coke. He also yeah. stole a bunch from different people. I remember he used to steal Jordans from people. Uh, <coughs> black guy. Uh, and What does that have to do with anything? I was just mm. throwing that in there. <laughs> painting, painting the picture. Yeah, I'm painting the picture. Mm. He, he, oh, my God. What was his name on Twitter? I, I want people to find it because I think he's in jail now, so I don't care. Is this um, the same guy that... Uh, Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Killed his baby mom. Nope, nope, nope. That's Ice. That's Ice. That's my boy, Ice. Uh, uh, who should that's go not, to jail it's forever. It's not funny. It's, it's not, not funny. my boy anymore. To clarify, it's my that's guy. Not my boy. It's my guy. It's not my boy anymore. You actually paid his bail, didn't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. To clarify. Hey, Ice, you posted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this no. guy is Zach Ferguson out here. It's. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, to clarify, that guy should be in jail forever. Uh, Barry, you know, he should be in jail for a little. Uh, there was another guy I knew. His name was Shaq. Oh, Shaquille? Yeah. His name is actually Shaq. O'Neal? Uh, the reason... So, Diesel? So we... Okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say <laughs> something, and I need to know if you agree with this or not. Uh, not. What kind of a car does a drug dealer drive? Some Tell sort of me. old Cadillac. Okay, so or like I, an SUV. SUV, okay. So what do you what are you thinking for like SUV? Like an Escalade. Great answer. Uh, the the real answer is a Chrysler 300. That's also that's, that's also a pimp car. Easily the most drug dealer car I know. He drove a Chrysler 300, and he had the greatest set of rims I've ever seen on a car. Uh, because you know. You, well, okay. I know exactly what you're talking about. And you know you who Chrysler else drives 300? a Chrysler 300? Shout out to Larry Welsh, my father-in-law. Doesn't I'm gonna sell drugs say, anymore. I'm going to say. Anymore. 
Statue the Chrysler 300 maybe. is the mo- like I feel like when you think of a car that has been modified to be like a what do they call this low rider? Yeah, they got yeah, the big yeah, rims. yeah, yeah. Where they where they drive Why did I say low what do you call the bump? Like I was shit, gonna say they have, they like have a the shag rims. wagon. Yeah, shag yeah, wagon. That's for oh a van. My God, that's but, hilarious. Yeah, shag wagon's a van for sure. Yeah, I feel like I picture the Chrysler 300 now. Yeah, oh, 100%, I can picture dude. the giant ass rims. Yeah. Like why? Why is that car so? Is it just that cheap? That's an Escalade. Or Escalade. Why, why Escalade do, always has the rims that are like. But nuts. why? Why do? I don't uh, know. Affiliates oh, what you, of the mob you, type like Chrysler 300 so much. They're not the mob. They're gangs. Gangs. Say whatever. Gangs. You know, illegal uh, activities. Yeah. No, I feel like mob. What do you? What do mob people drive? What do Blacked they drive? out caddies, baby. I don't know. I don't know either. I, I just probably they blend in because we want to think that they're. Due to that, television, that they're like, yeah, they're they're like, like oh, they're all rolling crazy, in like crazy, like suits on, like, like mobster looking. Do you know how obvious that is? Literally, if Come if we on, saw bro. eighteen people get out of five black Escalades, I'm immediately with one guy in the middle. I'm like, that guy is either the president or the leader of the Demio crime family. A hundred percent. Which is a I love that call back to the Sopranos, but you don't know. No, I don't. You don't know that. I okay. You really need to start bullying me into watching The Sopranos. I'm rewatching like, it right now. I need you to bully me into it, okay? Like, like Just I know you bully it. me into like playing like Grand Theft Auto with you and shit like that. I would much rather you bully me into playing into. into but watching I haven't. Sopranos. I haven't bullied you enough into playing Grand Theft no, Auto. No, you haven't bullied me very much into that. Just, what, what was the just, new one? The Hot Wheels. You've been trying to bully me into Hot Wheels. Yeah, that game's fun. I've just fucking watch The Sopranos. You. I don't have to convince you. No, you'll be hooked I need after you, one I need episode. You to bully me. You'll listen be hooked after one L- episode. No, listen to me. Listen to me. I need you to bully me to at least watch the first episode. Then okay, fucking okay, do it. Okay, no, no, no. Off air, off air. I need real life bullying. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I punch you right now, dude? That was kind of hot. Yeah, dude. Hit me. Hit me. Think I'm scared, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> watch The Sopranos. <laughs> Do it off air though. Too. That was a I weak need, ass need, punch. Here you yeah, give me was, back, dude. That was if that's how you. I was with my left hand, punch, dude. Dude, I'm torn. That was like a love you. slap, you know. I think we talked about this before about who would win Bro, a fight. You're you're dead wrong. You're dead wrong. I got you. <laughs> okay. I would take you down, buddy. You're hilarious. You know I'm a. That's crazy not even person, like right? a quarter of my. Power. No, you know I'm a crazy person, right? You'd probably try and bite my ear or something. Your ear. You'd go dirty. You'd like your kick me in the ear. balls. That's hilarious. You'd, you'd go for like some I'd cheap shots. I'd rip your shots. nipples off your body and shove them up your ass. I have these gangly ass arms, bro. I'll wrap you up real fast and so? take you down. Take me down? Yeah, I'll Dude, knock you out. I'll you choke wanna you out. You want to wrestle in a little bit after this episode? I'll wrestle you. It never I'm ends way well. fatter than you. It never ends, you, ends well for How people. How much you weigh? How much you weigh right now? 204 pounds. I just weighed myself. <laughs> Wait, really? Yes. You're 6'3, right? Yep. Okay, you got more reach on me, but I promise you I get you to the ground. I'm like 230 right nah, now. Nah, nah. 230. I'm limber. What does limber do when Big Daddy gets on you? Bro, you got 20 pounds on me. That's nothing. I. All right, we're fighting after this. <laughs> All right, uh, Patreon episode. Cam and I fight. At we're going to grease each other up. Grease each other up. We're going to get in a mud we're gonna pit do with lube, bikinis on. Lube, Dude, wait, that would be wrestling. so fucking funny. <laughs> Imagine we get in bikinis. No, no, no. You can wear, like, Speedo for, like, the bottom. Oh, yeah, but, like, I'll stuff it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you think I'm doing, dude? I'm shoving 14 socks in my dick. What do you do mean? Do it. Dude, that's so funny, though. When you think about, like, male models and shit. So, like, obviously- I never think about male models. <sighs> do you often think about male models? Nope, nope. Don't know why I said when you think about male models. Let's think about male models, though, together. Um um so okay, wait, wait, here close your eyes uh-huh picture you're straight i can't i can't do it <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it um okay you're straight now <laughs> still my favorite thing we've ever done on an episode other than kermit and miss piggy that was good uh did you have anything you wanted to bring up today we haven't talked about yeah shit. i did i did uh, I, I know I, you did but i i just well i I've went been rifting for a while i went now. and saw oppenheimer and barbie yesterday mm-hmm and I think like the highlight of that was between yeah, Oppenheimer and Barbie, I had a little bit of downtime, so I went to Goodwill. So you went to Oppenheimer first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then so we're at this Goodwill, and, and you were thinking about the atomic bomb. I was <laughs> at a Goodwill. <laughs> at a Goodwill, yeah. I was thinking about it. I was like, 
you know, I wonder about all the death and destruction. Yeah, of course. I didn't realize Albert Einstein was alive for most of that. Oh, you didn't know that Albert Einstein was like the big reason why we got the atomic bomb first. People say that. I did some research. It's not really him. No, no, it is. He just came up with one little formula. Well, it's a big. He formula. didn't actually create it's the nuke. It's a big but... formula that involves um, it. I'll send you the article. Oh wow! Is it going to be from fucking spin.com? <laughs> It's from, Vi- sure it's from Vice. <laughs> Vice totally knows. Uh, no, but the, I'm at this Goodwill, and they had like a furniture section, right? Every Goodwill does. And there was a gentleman it's like there. like $30 for a couch, like, covered in cum. Yeah, there's a gentleman Well, you don't sitting. know because you don't keep a black light on you. Right. I just always test them out anyway. I can, I can tell when I sit down on them if they have cum on them. 100%. You mm-hmm. can hear the squish. Yeah. Oh, but this guy that's disgusting. <laughs> just starts talking to me, and he goes, you should cut your sleeves off. Does he work there? No. Nope. No, just He's just sitting guy. on the couch. Random guy. Very sweaty sitting on his couch. Is he fat? He's a little robust. <laughs> robust? Is that what you fucking tell people <laughs> I am? You, you go around no. and you're like, yeah, no. Zach, he's pretty robust. No, I've never said that. I'll be honest, that. that's a really nice way I've to say never fat, said though. That. That's I've why. never said that about good you. Good for you. Good for you. That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> robust. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So how robust was this guy? He was pretty busty or what? He he was pretty busty. He was pretty busty. He was pretty busty right around here. <laughs> right around the six. Right around the gut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had a bandana on, you yeah, know, like yeah, a yeah. biker one. And he, oh, got, he, he told me that I should cut my sleeves off. And I was like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? And I'm wearing these pants. And these bikers these pants are already like. Off sleeves. Yeah, but these pants are already kind of short, you know. So I thought he was making a joke about my pants being short. Oh. And then he's like, no, you should cut. He's like, you should cut your sleeves off. Keep Why? it cool. Oh, uh, keep cool. And he's talking about my, so my sleeves on my shirt. And I'm yeah. like, ah, oh, yeah. And then he, unprompted, he goes, you think you could take down Brock Lesnar? <laughs> <laughs> you were like, you mean reigning WWE champion and UFC fighter Brock Lesnar? Yeah, I was like, who has a sword tattooed on his chest that goes to his neck? Yeah, I was like, no, I don't think I could. No, yeah. And I, he goes, what about with me as your partner? And at this point, the gears started clicking. Oh, that's sexual. And I was like, something's a little off with this guy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I bet you and I'd kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> this fat guy wanted to fuck you. He wanted to fight. He wanted me to fight Brock Lesnar with him and kiss you, probably. And then after, I was like, like after no, the no, match no, no, is no, over. No, 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 after no. the match is over. No, no, because I'm not kidding. I went and told Alexa's story because I yeah. and he was like, all right, I gotta go. And then as we're walking away, Alexa hears him go. <laughs> You should cut your sleeves off. And he's talking to Again? a completely different person. Oh, a different... He, completely he, different he's person. He's just trying to bring people he's in. He's just trying to bring people in. He's, he's just trying he, to... He has a personal vendetta them. against Brock Lesnar. <laughs> and he's, he needs to... Be, Brock Lesnar stole my ex-wife. His, <laughs> <laughs> I want to fight him. You think you could kick Brock Lesnar's ass? <laughs> what about wanna, with me as your partner? I want to fight him in hell in a cell. <laughs> he's just like his backyard. He's like, all right, I bet you're wondering, you're wondering why you're all here. Uh, we're actually going to go to Brock Lesnar's house and kick his ass. Uh, he took my wife. He took my wife. She's oh, a beautiful fucking 14 bitch, years. But we got to get her back. We got to get her back. I hate her guts, but she can't be fucking Brock. I on can't the side. let her go to Brock Lesnar. I can't let her. It's like his mortal enemy, like Brock Lesnar. They, they, it, <laughs> He's just a regular ass guy. If you look at every picture of Brock Lesnar in the background, just this guy getting this guy overshadowed. Like, this guy looking like this. He's he was also a wrestler. He was also oh a professional wrestler, God. also a professional football player, also a UFC fighter. God, that's so <laughs> but he's funny. always in the background. Dude, Brock Lesnar totally does crack. Uh, anyway. No, I just think he does like a bunch of HGH. Tons of steroids, dude. Yeah. You don't look like that. <laughs> Do you remember? I remember as a kid. <coughs> did you watch wrestling much as a kid or no? No. Nah. No, I did. I think like one time I was I watched... at like my grandparents and they live in BFE and they got like, you know, like this shitty satellite and they put on or I watched the Friday night. Raw or whatever oh, it was. Oh, Monday Smackdown. Night Raw, baby. No, it was it was Friday Smackdown Night. Smackdown versus Raw. Yeah, that was Fridays. Uh, but I used to watch it until I was maybe pregnant. like yeah, until I was yeah pregnant. Uh, I would probably say I watched it until I was like in second or third grade. I was gonna say as soon as you found out you were having Liam, you were like, all right, I gotta turn this. Yeah, I got, fucking I got, listen. I, I gotta get crap gotta off. get rid of the WWE at this point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, my like, dad and I. I like wrestling. Yeah. Oh no, I think it's fun. I I think it's clearly. It, it's like the type of – it's satire to me. 100%. Like I look at it and I'm just like, I'm just here to watch two guys put like fake beat each other. You have to look at it through a lens of this is all complete bullshit. fucking bullshit. It's all bullshit. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, when the that, one chick comes out spinning her braid. Dude, that's fire. So fire. Fire. And then she like uses it. Like I love watching Royal Rumble and 
and mm-hmm. uh, uh, what's the what's the main one they do every year? Uh, WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Uh-huh. I love watching WrestleMania. I watch that anytime it's on. Everything else, don't really care for. Yeah. Uh, but when I was a kid, I used to watch all the time. And the one match I remember more than anything else was when Brock Lesnar and The Big Show. You know who God. The Big Show is. Yeah. Okay. He's literally like, for those of you that don't know, he's like a 7'2 dude who's like 350, 400 pounds. Brock Lesnar, he's probably about six foot, maybe. <laughs> and he, But he's like 250 pounds of like pure muscle. Okay. Pure sex. Pure sex. This guy picks up the big show and breaks the ring. He throws him off the ring and throws him into the center, and it breaks the entire ring. That was the first time as a kid I was like, holy shit. Like, I, I, because I was a smart kid. I knew it was all staged and it was all bullshit. Yeah, no, I mean, I wasn't that smart. I had my own things. You were in special classes. We just never well, really, know, we never really know, who, told you what yeah, that meant. Yeah, who among us? Yeah, my mom's probably going to tell me that while she's out here right now. She's probably going to be, you know, you were always a special you kid. Know, you, you were in classes. You were a little bit uh, different than the other kids. Well, you see. But it was a lot of fun. Censored I, for the Patreon. I can't say this joke. For the Patreon. Oh, you were going to, I know what you were going to say. Um, anyway. You can probably guess, but he'll totally drop all of those on the Patreon.com slash the Loverboys Pod, uh, where we have a bunch of extra episodes. Uh, specifically, right now, the most important one is the Edward F- Loco hands. I don't know that I'll ever have a four loco again. I will not touch that. Unless. No. Unless no no. there's a lot of patrons involved. Think I'll do out. it. He might not. Think him out. But uh, he might bow out, but, like, man, if we get, in, get to enough patrons, you might get another one of those again. Uh, but the Patreon is a bunch of shit that we can't do on YouTube, uh, so go check it out. Patreon.com slash LoveBoysPod. Check out TikTok, YouTube. You're already probably on YouTube, so TikTok, <coughs> same thing. Oh, is this episode done? No. Oh. I was wondering why you plugged it. I was it. just throwing it in the middle. What's wrong oh. with that? All right. You can't do it at the end, then. No, I won't. You already did it once. Nah, maybe I will. No, you won't. Eh. Nah. Mm-mm. You mostly brought that fucking up. Don't even. Bro, I don't even know what we're talking about anymore because this this plug went on for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> Yo, 10 patrons anyway, and we get Brock Cam Lesner, off the show. Brock Lesnar, yeah. corn fed boy from... Corn fed for I don't sure, know, What dude. is it, uh, Minnesota? Is that where he's... Oh, yeah, because he played for the Vikings, didn't he? I think he played Probably. for the Vikings at one point. Yeah. Genuinely. Yeah, you know who didn't play for the Vikings? Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of Dennis Rodman. Oh, my God. I'm just Dude, kidding. I'm this just guy kidding. right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is like six episodes in a row where he like perfectly. <laughs> no, you can't be kidding now. You brought him up already. Just fucking say it now. Like. Oh, my God. You he got a face that. tattoo of his girlfriend. And it's so bad. It's so bad, dude. It's atrocious. It's so bad. Like. How much money do you think Dennis Rodman's worth? Google it real quick. I want to know. Uh, how, much, how much do you think he's worth? Tell me please first. Huh? Tell me please first. Oh, this shit. bitch. Tell me please first. You think I just, you think I just bend over and Google shit because you tell me to Google it? If I had my phone and you looked at me and you said, hey, can you Google this for me? I wouldn't think twice. <laughs> I'd say, how hard do you want me to Google this? Fucking tell me please. Are you trying to dom me right now? <laughs> yes. You're doming me. Tell me, please. You're doming me. Tell me, please. Please, daddy. Don't say go? that. Dude. Yeah, okay, exactly. Say it again I without a daddy I want to make you fucking part. feel uncomfortable for that bullshit that you just tried to pull. You know what? I'm going to delegate. Hey, Siri. How much is yeah, tell that Dennis bitch. Robin worth? <coughs> I'll ASMR for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> $4? 600000 Oh, man. See? Okay, that makes sense now why the tattoo wasn't that great. Listen, if you have 600 grand, you can at least find a decent tattoo artist to put some. Yeah, but he only has 600 grand, and he has to live the rest of his life with that. Because you got to think, like, who the fuck is sponsoring Dennis Rodman right now? You know what I mean? Like, how is he making any money? I don't know. TikTok? He does a lot of TikTok. No, he does not. Really? Yeah, I think so. He is like what fifty five, maybe older, oh, no. maybe sixty. He's sixty five. No, he is not. Yeah, sixty five. Sixty two. Sorry, sixty two. Holy shit, that's really old though. 
No offense to you know all the three people that are above sixty that probably he's got one point three million followers on TikTok. This dude is making more than six hundred thousand yeah. dollars, bro. If we had one point three million people, we would definitely make a lot of money. Like that's bullshit. He's not making six hundred. <laughs> oh, no, his net worth isn't six hundred k because like his salary is probably at least half a million dollars a year, at least. Salary from what? TikTok. He doesn't get an annual salary from them though. he gets paid though he gets paid for how many views he gets once he's above a certain amount of views he gets paid for it you think there yeah. are random weird ass people on tiktok that are like i'm going to subscribe to dennis rodman and give him five dollars this month like i guarantee he has some shit like that i personally would not dude i think dennis rodman should get a twitch can I'm we be sure friends he with has him? one can we be friends with him you think he would like should we reach out to him we should reach out to him. We should reach out to Dennis Rodman. Are yeah, on TikTok. Are you guys listening to this fucking guy? Yeah, no, 100%. So Dennis Rodman's a weird guy, obviously. Been in North Korea. Best friends with Kimmy J. Hey, bro. Saw your face tattoo. Would love to talk about your stupid fucking decisions. But... Oh, no. I don't even want to like have him on the podcast or anything. I just want to be friends with him. Because you, you, think you, you, think you, you guys think you'd be friends. Why do you think you'd be friends? You know, we're just regular guys. Yeah, but you, you, I feel like you had a reason earlier. Uh, no, I just feel like I would actually listen to him. You know, oh. like, I, I feel like a lot of people just kind of look at him as, like, Frankenstein's monster. You know, like, like the fucking book. Yeah, but I thought it was also because you thought he was, like, a yes man. Oh, yeah, no, that too. Yeah. Yeah, like, he, no, not he's a yes man. Everybody around him probably is, though. Because, like, how do you okay. tell your boys you're going to fucking face tattoo like that? And they're just like, yeah, bro. Do you think he has boys? Do you think he texts Kim Jong-un and he was like, yo, should I get this face tap, bro? You think every month they have like a little FaceTime date? No. I don't think he keeps in touch with Kim Jong-un too much. I want that to be true more than anything in the world. I want there to be like footage of him and Kim Jong-un FaceTiming. Every month. They have, a little, they have like a little play date. Do you think he still goes there? When no. Was I don't think anyone's gone there for a while. That was a while ago. I oh fuck. <laughs> have you seen Have <laughs> yeah, you yeah, seen yeah. the videos that have been going around where South Korea is now blaring like anti propaganda stuff at the like the DMZ or something? Oh really? Like at the and, line. and everyone's like memeing it and they're putting like no. Ru, they'll put like RuPaul's laugh oh, over this. It's that's so bro, funny. it's so fucking funny. That's so good. Um, my thing is. I think Dennis Rodman would be a fun friend. I yeah. think I think he would be the type of person that like would totally support you. Would be really good friends with you. But then like also would make really dumb decisions. Like we've all had that one friend. Man, I think like, you're thinking of the wrong Dennis Rodman. I think, think this guy is probably mm. only making decisions for himself. Hey man. Be honest. I yeah, love no. Dennis Rodman. I think he's a fun guy, but I think he's a very He's probably selfish for sure. Selfish. Of guy. course he is. Yeah. That doesn't mean he couldn't be a good friend potentially. How dare you? How dare you look at Dennis Rodman and say he's we a should, bad friend? We should talk to Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen on this and see what they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll consult them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah, yo, Michael and Scotty, you know, I know you guys are listening because of course they listen, right? He only spent like a decade with the guy. Is he cool? Yeah. Is he cool or no? They're like, oh, he's cool. Like, he'll abandon your team and go to Vegas cool. Dude, that's one of my favorite stories of all time was. I don't know if you guys have watched the last dance, but there was one point. They were in the playoffs, right? I think they were in the playoffs when that happened. And basically what happened was Dennis Rodman went to Vegas during a playoff run by the Bulls, I'm pretty sure, because he had two full days off. So he was like, I'm just going to Vegas because I can. Didn't sleep for two full days. Still had like a double-double. In the game that he came back to. Because the guy just ran on Molly and strippers. Really? I I got to... Okay, this is going to be a weird episode. Okay. Hey, Joe, come in here. I need you to host for me a little bit. It is my normal person. Oh, I my God. Me. Well, my parent, my mom's going to call me to the same thing. Oh, okay. You're going to you're gonna sing real quick? Okay. All right, Joe, you got a riff on here real quick. I'll be back, guys. Joe's going to give his review of Barbie and Oppenheimer. I yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna give mine. That's a good one. Joe's got both of his AirPods in, dude. You're looking like a FF right now. Take those oh, out. Oh, oh. Take those out. 
We don't do that on here. All right, so you guys know Joe. He's been on a couple episodes so far. Uh, Joe's back. He's got his dogs out right now. He's got his dogs out with a sweatshirt and a hoodie on. It's 115 degrees outside, by the way. It feels nice. Not sure why he's wearing both of those things. Dolly, go away. Um, Go away. Cam, you might have to call the dogs. Go away. Eh, It's fine. (laughs) She's cute. Well, this is Dolly. Uh, Yeah, you guys know Dolly. Um, So basically... You, at 3 o'clock yesterday, decided you were going to go see Barbenheimer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Best part was he came back at like 4 o'clock and realized that he forgot something from the house. I forgot forgot a bag. Bag? Yeah. What kind of bag did you even take with you? Did you take your satchel-looking ass thing from work? No, I took like a bag. You took a backpack to the movie theater? Like How much backpack. more school shooter can you get, Joe? What? No one said anything. So you went into a movie theater with a backpack. Yes. Looking like this. Yeah. I'll be honest, guys. America has come I a feel long offended. way. I no, feel America offended. No, America has come a long way because 10 years ago, if Joe would have walked into a movie theater with a backpack... There would have been a lot of police called, yeah. the FBI, the CIA. A lot of glances. A lot of glances, especially if you would have had that terrible fucking beard you had in D.C. where it was like that Amish thing oh, you were doing. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Bro, I, I literally that. looked at you, I remember, and I was like, you look like a Middle Eastern arms dealer. I remember that. And yeah. you knew you did. That was good. But I, cool I kind of liked that. You liked it? I thought it was funny. I like the facial hair now, though. Thanks. All right, so you saw three movies yesterday. I I'm did. not even going to mention what the third one is right. because I've made too much fun of it at this point, and I don't want to give them any airtime, if I'm being honest. That's fine. Uh, so the two movies you saw were Barbie and Oppenheimer, and you saw them in that order, right? Right. You saw Barbie and then Oppenheimer? Yeah. Okay. You originally said oh, you didn't like Barbie, that. though. Right? So at first I thought I'd, I didn't like it. And then I realized. Oh, actually, don't do that bullshit where you were like, "Okay, Cam said he liked no, it." No, so. no, 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 no. Okay, I liked oh, it. I no, liked you guys movie. fucking saw that smile because he's gonna it. bullshit his way through this now. I liked the movie. I thought that it was a little bit political. It was oh, Barbie political. was really yeah, a little bit. Which who was political? Ken? No, just or the Barbie. Mes- the message of it. Oh, so you don't like women? <laughs> oh. I'm just asking. I mean, I mean that's a jump. I'm just asking. So, so what was political? Uh, uh, just, just give there me, were, there give were me a lot what of, the politics. There were. were a lot of jokes that just made it look like men are stupid, men are bad. I mean, men are pretty all stupid. men suck. Women are better. Most men suck. Me, most men. <laughs> most men do suck, though. Well, I don't know about that. You could agree with a lot of the points with that, though. Yeah, but no, the point was the point of what was just like Jesus. Oh no! All right, so what you were saying was basically. Uh, he's talking to his grandma. All right, and go. All right, so what you were saying was basically you uh-huh. hate women. No, no. Wait, it cut out again. on that side now so i'll cancel it uh-huh. all right so basically what you were saying is you hate women you keep saying that and i don't think that that's keep right. saying and i only said it well, once you said it one time yeah i only said it <laughs> we had a technical this error like there sorry guys four. yeah we, we this had is a, like take number four I, yeah this is take number four probably uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe. Joe this, decided to come in here. This freaking oh, guy. Oh no! And now his grandma's calling this him all on his guy. laptop. Cam's grandma's calling him. We're not gonna say what her name is. Yeah. What do you think her name is? Dolores. Ooh, no, she's not that old. How really? old do you think she is? Seventy-six. No, dude. His grandma's probably dude, in her sixties. My 60s. mom is seventy-one. No, she is not. Your mother is not 71 years old. Yes, she is. Bull fucking shit, Stephanie's 71. She's 71. How old's Andre? 67. Oh, your mom's a cougar? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. I didn't know that. I thought your dad was older. No. Your mom looks good for 71, right? dude. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, that's the Spanish in her. Yeah. Even though she doesn't recognize it. Right. It's the Spanish in her. Dolly, um, go away. Yeah, Dolly, Dolly come away. here. Um, so, Barbenheimer. Yeah. Give me what you would rate Barbie from 1 to 10. Like a 7.5. What was your initial reaction? What would you have given it off your I was initial mad reaction? about the propaganda at first. Uh, yeah. Joe, Joe. Five. Yeah, Joe. Joe really just doesn't like women. It's crazy. Oh uh, uh, you can't just throw an accusation like that oh, out there. You want to fucking do that? You want to fucking do that, fucking do that right no, now? You just throw You're accusation. lucky that Cam's in the other room right now because I'd be screaming you at the top of my lungs. You piece of not. shit, talking about okay, how I was a racist. Let's move on. A couple episodes. Let's move on. Ago. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. You can't and throw those come... accusations out there either. Either. Let's you go. did that. Move on. You did that. Move on. Anyway, Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer was very was good, what? too. That was like a nine and a half. Yeah. Bull fucking shit, dude. That yeah. puts it in the highest category of movies. movies. No, no, no. That puts it in your top five. No, it's not. No, nine and a half. How many, how many ten movies have you seen? Nine and a half to ten movies have you seen in your life? Pulp Fiction. Uh, Lord of the Rings, both the Two Towers and Return. Two of the Towers King. and Return, because Fellowship is right. fucking garbage. Um, <laughs> garbage. Garbage. It's actually so a great three. movie. Nah, it's good, but it's not as it's good as great, the other no, two. It's a but, great movie. Um, right, so you got three. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nine and a half and above. The we're Prestige. Saying. Prestige, totally up there. Yeah. Reservoir Cam Dogs. Cam hates that, by the way. Reservoir I know. Dogs. I hate that about Cam. I love Cam. Yeah. Just I kill like him. Cam. I don't know. Wait, Probably. Wow. Oh um, man. And that's it. I think that's all I can think of. And you're putting Oppenheimer in the same category. Wait, no, 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 no. There's more movies. Interstellar. There's more. There's more. You Interstellar saw Interstellar was recently. Movie. Interstellar. Was that was the first time oh, you Dark saw Knight. that, right? Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Yeah. I have like the most. What would you give Interstellar? Is that is that top three for you? Top three all time? Yes. No. What's top? Th- it's a great movie. Whoa. Okay. What's movie. top three? What's top three? Lord of the Rings. Which one? No, you have to pick Two one. Two Towers. Yeah, because you love Two, Two Towers. Because Towers. you love Pulp, Helm's Deep. Pulp Fiction. Big horror for Helm's Deep. Yeah, I do like. Pulp Fiction, okay. And what's the third? Um, you got to think real careful here because this is the third. You don't have any other options after this. Out of all the movies you've ever seen, got to be particular here. So hard. It's tough one. No. Um, you remember when you tried to watch it? Yeah, it was terrible. It was so bad. Do not watch it. We were that. very high Do that not day, sponsor though. us and do not watch No, that. Sausage Party, please do not sponsor us. Um, I, no, I listen, say, it was way better when I wasn't high when I saw that. Yeah. Because I saw that in theaters, bro. I went and I paid money that was more than $4 to go see yeah. that at oh, the theaters. It was such a bad movie. It was, but I wasn't high then and it was actually kind of funny. When I was high, dude, how does that even make sense? Because the people who made Sausage Party were probably chronically high oh, yeah. while they Jonah made Jonah Hill it. and like Seth Rogen. Yeah, dude. So they were probably chronically high yeah. while they made it, but it wasn't a good high I movie. I think that, you know what? It doesn't make sense. The problem is, they're just not that funny. Whoa, you don't think they're funny? I think they're like kind of overplayed. You think they're mid? A little bit. They okay. used to be. Really? They used to be funny, yeah. I don't really care. Wow. Like back in the day, but, uh, at this point, it's like that's move, kind of a hot take. Move on from trying to be. Oh, like did you see all the Jonah movie. Hill bullshit though? Yeah, and I don't love that. I don't either. Like also, like that's kind of like, a piece of the shit. Man's like forty, like dude. He's forty, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, don't be like abusive and stuff. I mean, you like, would think that would creepy be, at that point. I mean, you would think that would come natural, but I, yeah. I wonder because we always hear about like the abuse scandals and like all this shit that goes on in Hollywood and like other places, but like. I feel like it's way more common than we think. Oh, yeah, because everyone sucks. But Especially I just think it's crazy that like people can do that type of shit. Mm-hmm. Because I, I obviously we have our own problems, but like the Jonah Hill thing in particular, like he Yeah, I, I don't understand I just don't, like I don't, I don't understand get that. How it wasn't even can, his wife, it was just his girlfriend, yeah, right? It was just his girlfriend. It was I don't just understand his how you can be like malicious in, in that way. Bro, me neither. Like I just I don't like, know how like some people have the tendency to have like hatred, yeah. Like to uh, to address things from a perspective. Of hatred. Anyway, Cam's back. Yeah, how's your grandma, Cam? Good old Nana. All right. How old is she? Peace 70, out, Pod. Seventy nine. Subscribe to the Patreon. No way, dude. All right, there goes Joe with the Patreon thing again. He unplugged your microphone like three times, so I had to completely restart it three times. Uh, but you know, it's fine. It what happens? Uh, you know. All right, Joe, take him with you. 
Dolly's had her fun in the sun for now. Oh, Go. Yeah. Call her. Back in the saddle. What the fuck? That was gone for five minutes. Guy had sex with your mic. Yeah, did you eat it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, why, Joe? I don't know. What are you worried about? He's like, please, I don't want to take care of the dogs anymore. Literally. She literally is like, I am on my father. It's on her father, eh? <laughs> Boo. Stop being a daddy story. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, no, you started something oh, now. No. Um, Oopsie. So what did Joe say about Barbie and Oppenheimer? So I made fun of him because he initially said he hated Barbie until you said something. Yeah. Joe Joe can do that sometimes. Joe yeah. Joe's very much a he'll give his opinion until somebody gives a different about opinion. About how I loved it. Yeah, and then he'll be like he'll try and make his opinion match with your opinion a little bit with a little uh, bit of his opinion still, you know. Joe, are you going to let him talk shit like that about you? Uh he knows. He knows. <laughs> I'll I'll happily say it to him. I said it to him in the podcast already, but Yeah. So, he said Barbie initially was a 5 for him. <laughs> And what then, a lie. And then what a said, lie. And then he said when he thought about it, it was a seven and a half. No. I was like, that that's movie, a huge fucking that movie is jump, a nine, bro. nine and a half out of ten. Nine or yeah. nine and a half. Bro, I just had this conversation with him. He said, so he said Oppenheimer was a nine and a half. He said Oppenheimer was a nine and a half. I give Oppenheimer an eight. I stick by that. Barbie was better. Where. Barbie was better. Joe is so drunk and high right now that he's he, doing is, push-ups. he is doing push ups in my kitchen right now. You got to do 17 push ups right now because of the eight and nine difference. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I Barbie was nine and a half, bro. For Barbie, Barbie was so fun, but also really, really heartfelt. You have obviously you're going into a movie called Barbie with. I the, just have no idea how you end a movie like that, though. Was it a good ending? It was a weird ending, honestly. It was weird. Okay, like it, it's just. Do you think? Like, it, do you think they kind of like made it open ended so that they could have another one, or what? It's not open ended. It's very close ended. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I mean. Yeah, I mean yeah, don't the, the me. ending don't joke was really no, funny. I'm totally they gonna, did I'm end totally it really well. It. Like I think I think they did because like when you look at the full story and what it's about, it's not so much about the Barbie, it's more about like the experience of being a woman. And like oh, like, like okay. uh empowerment and everything. Yeah, and yeah, I think you yeah, have to go yeah, into yeah. it with that uh with that knowledge. So if you're being got it, if got you're got complaining got it, got about got it, it, you know, Joe's point was about how it was sort of like made all men look stupid. Not really stupid, but like kind of like the villain and we are yeah <laughs> no a lot like of the time i'll be honest truth. a lot of the time we like, are like yeah i mean like of we're course, not bro. we're not like the worst people all no, the time no, but no, like no, it no. definitely had to. but the, there are a lot of people that are fucking terrible bro to, and like there's a lot of th- like, things that are ran by men that shouldn't be and like of course um it just sort of played on that and like i think it dealt with those issues really well because at the heart of it it dealt with why men and like the patriarchy is so powerful it's it's just like an identity thing as well. It deals with Ken's identity crisis because it's he's he focuses. He's like, it's Barbie and Ken, and Barbie's like, no, it's Barbie and it's Ken. Like, you can be your own mm, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not giving away too much of the movie. I oh, I see what you mean. Like, yeah, versus, his like, his, his, his identity is together, wrapped up in Barbie, wrapped up in Barbie and yeah. not himself having a personality. And yeah, man, we can just agree it's, that it's, a, it's like it was so fucking funny. Sometimes, like, there were moments that had me like literally like crying really? almost and then there was a scene at the end that had me actually crying like actually it was cried. so sweet really yeah hell yeah damn dude. okay yeah i'm excited for it it was a I... good movie and oppenheimer was the complete opposite i think that's why the internet kind of made it like a funny thing together yeah. i mean they're complete th- opposite we were not the only people do a lot of people did it yesterday of course. like a lot of people i didn't realize how many people were gonna actually do it dude um, i was telling vanessa this the other day is that i think the marketing money for most of these movies went into meme pages. For sure. I'm not even joking. Like, cause they probably just didn't even put that. It was like sponsored on their post or whatever. They were just like, put in the captions, like buried something like that, where it was just like, they were trying to do Barbenheimer so bad, which by the way, we they were came selling up, t-shirts. By the shit. way, we came up with that name before I saw it on the internet. We did not. I, I heard. That I, somewhere. Okay. I saw it on the internet. Like, a couple that, days that was ago. not that was not an original by Damn, us. Damn, you piece of shit! It you wasn't. I heard that from shit, somewhere. Bro, you stealing? I, I, I heard about Barbenheimer for for weeks. It's been out there forever. Yeah, but I hadn't heard Barbenheimer. I had yeah. heard people wanting to see both and like mm. the jokes about it, but I hadn't seen Barbenheimer as like a hashtag. Uh, people made like T-shirts then. and shit. That's fire. 
Uh, but we can both agree, uh, basically, that we love women. Yeah. And oh, we yeah. agree with women. That's why it's lover boys. Yeah, of course. Like, like, like the like the process of that. We're big on women here. Big women guys. Yeah. Here. yeah. The, the funny part about guys. Oppenheimer was that he was kind of a womanizer. I know that's what you were he saying. He sort of abused the patriarchy a Dude, little bit. Dude, a hundred. Wait, that's so. So he funny. was the antithesis of the Barbie movie. Did you watch that one first, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you said you'd give that an eight. I mean, uh, yeah, it's a historical biopic in my opinion. I mean, it's, that's what it's supposed it's what to be, it feels. Yeah, right? and I mean, it feels like a Christopher Nolan film, and it's a good movie. Oh, it, it is. Does. I enjoyed it, bro. But it makes you think about like our impact on other, like on Japan and all of that, and like the the impact that this guy had and so his anxiety about building literally like the most powerful, the most weapon, powerful ever weapon. Like, yeah, they really hit home. Um. So is the movie? Well, does the movie end when like? Like where does the movie end? Does it end later on after the bomb? Like don't tell me too much, but like does it does it end after the bomb? Like right after the bomb, or does it end like it a ends, while? After? It ends a while after. Okay, good. Um, like because a few I, years. I I wanted to know about that because I do know, and this is the nerd buff in me, that Oppenheimer after he created the atomic bomb, and I don't know what they did in the movie. So this is just history, guys. You can you can fact check me because again we bullshit on this show a lot. So honestly, I would fact check me here. Uh, but Oppenheimer, after he created the bomb, basically went before Congress and was like, we should have never done this. We need to make sure that we get rid of all nuclear weapons. Like, this is no. not okay that we did this. Like, no. they didn't do that in the movie at all. Yeah. That's, that's what they not, did that in wasn't, real fucking that's, life, That wasn't bro. his stance. That's what they did in real that life. That wasn't his stance, though. He was he was about... In the um, movie? That He was... Okay, so a lot of his dealings... Because that's he was in real life. Go ahead. No, well, I mean, I just no, watched ahead, the fight movie. Me. Fight me. I'm not. How Kiss am I me. fighting you if Kiss I'm me. talking about the movie that just depicted what happened? Huh? <laughs> he uh, he was a like he supported the communist movement for a while. Oh, in, really? In, in like the that. in like the 30s and 40s, whenever it wasn't like Russian communism, yeah, yeah, Soviet yeah. Before, it was just, before it was, it was the just the Union communist shit. ideals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he Which became sort of like uh, just a New no Deal Democrat, basically a liberal. Got it. Got it. And after the bomb and everything. They, his security clearance was in jeopardy because of that his ties with communism. That did and happen. he was part of the Atomic Energy Commission. Yep. And he didn't think that they, he he felt guilty, like obviously about building the atomic bomb, but he was more about controlling it and making sure that it wasn't in the wrong hands. Oh, because once you have a weapon, that's how they spin it. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's how they spun it. Yeah. Because, like, in real life in the 50s and 60s, he uh, literally went before Congress and said that they should abolish all nuclear weapons. And then, like, NATO or somebody should have control over it to be able to say, like, no one should have them. Hmm. So that's, like, the weird American twist that Christopher Nolan put on it. Which Christopher is Nolan is an American. He is, he is or isn't? He isn't. What is he? He's British. Well, I mean, it's the same. I hate the British. I want to see your facts on this because I think you're kind of okay. wrong. I'll show you. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we I better get into this wrestling match that we said that we were gonna do. I, right I'm just, after I'm just saying this. he That's was like, he, he was about like they use the word proliferation. What the fuck does that mean? And I, yeah, do you know a, what that means? I don't. Go ahead, pretend. For yeah, I no, died. No, 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 no. that's why I looked no, at the camera. No, no, let's that's pretend. why I looked at the camera. I don't know what it no, means. No, let's pretend we know what it means. So tell me what that definition is, and I'm just going to go blindly with whatever you say. Pro, what, what did you say? Pro, prolifer- pro, pro what? Proliferation. Okay, tell me what you think that means, and I'm just going to blindly go with you. I'm trying to think about the context that they used okay. it. No, the- forget the context. Fuck it. Just do do whatever do whatever you think it. It means. sounds like like building something like the like you're for like pro oh, being yeah. for pro pro, pro lifting lift. <laughs> we're pro, pro lifters. Yeah, we're pro yeah. lifters, dude. Like the pro life. Yeah. Pro life. I think it's pro. I think it pro pro lift proliferation pro, is just pro life. Proliferation. It's either of that like or, an object or like a creation of something. It's either that or pro lifting. Like you're a professional bodybuilder and you're pro lift. My pro pants are too tight for this. I'm moose snuggling. Dude, Definition of proliferation. Up. This is going to be so embarrassing. We're I doing this. P- I have to piss so bad. I've had to piss for like 40 minutes. Oh, this is okay. We were, I was kind of close. Really? It's about the rapid uh, increase in numbers. So, like production quality. Oh, okay. So, they have, like the proliferation of atu- atomic weapons would mean like multiple of them. So, he was on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
with America them. having them. Yes. And I'm going also off of the Wikipedia also, page. Also, he died in 1967 because he smoked 100 cigarettes a day. Yeah. He... 100. 100. Okay, so how many do you think come in a pack? A pack of cigarettes. 20? A pack is like... 20? 15, 20? Yeah, I thought it was like 20 like that. Like 20, Or maybe right? like 18. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a weird number, I think, but that's like five plus packs a day is what he smoked. Mm-hmm. And he I mean, didn't... He didn't get cancer for 20 plus years, though. I mean, okay, so when we were... So should I start the, smoking cigarettes is my question. Alexa and I were making a review of the movie, and I said, let's give it an 8 out of 10, and we'll give Cillian Murphy... Like, he did great. He's an Oscar nom. And then we can give the cigarette that kept hanging out of his mouth a standing ovation <laughs> yeah, because he did not fucking fall. Yeah, it didn't fall like, one time, was in, like, every single scene was him, like, having a cigarette yeah. hang out of his mouth or, like, in his hand. It was, yeah. it was like Brad Pitt with food, you know? Oh, my God. That's funny. All right. What are you looking up? Oh, wait. Tell me what you're looking. I was actually incorrect. He lobbied for international control of nuclear power to avert nuclear proliferation and a nuclear arms with the Soviet, Soviet Union. Yep. He did oppose the development of the hydrogen bomb. Yes, he did. Piece of shit. He comes on here and he looks at me like I'm a crazy well, person. Well, no, no, no. Well, okay. As if I don't know history. Go ahead. Keep going. But the security stuff about his like. No, his security pass and everything. Yeah. And, and the fact that he was on that board is totally yeah. true. Yeah. No, no, I agree with all of that. It was the point that I was making of the fact that he didn't want nuclear weapons, period. But you were thinking that he just wanted nuclear weapons for the U.S., but nobody else. He didn't want nuclear weapons, period. Then that was my interpretation. He, he created them. and Because, I mean, the famous quote from him is, I've well, he dead. Well, okay, so it says he lobbied for international control of nuclear power to avert nuclear proliferation, which means that he wanted NATO or somebody to have control over it. Yes. Which is what he, they were said in the movie. Okay. That's good, then. That makes me feel good that they actually were, like, historically accurate enough. Yeah. Because I, I always worry about that with... Uh, movies that are biopics where it's like okay most of this is true but then like you missed a big part of like who they were because that was his big thing at the end of his life after he did that for 20 something years bro he was like i really fucked up and we need to find a way to make this okay yeah and he actually died apparently thinking that the end of the world would still be nuclear weapons it's because it's going to be probably you know who among us yeah, no, anyway that's, that's the old albert einstein quote where he says that uh oh he says i don't know what world war three is going to be fought with but world war four is going to be fought with sticks, sticks and, and stones. stones baby yeah anyway that was a great way to end this episode super uh, morbid just, and depressing just on, uh you know some nuclear weapon type of bullshit uh but anyway oppenheimer oppenheimer you like barbie way more way more i think i'm gonna like barbie way more too barbie honestly. was so funny barbie barbie looks great I'm going to see both of them. I'll get my review eventually. It probably won't be for a long time. I got a son now. It's crazy. I, I've barely been sleeping well. I slept until noon today because I was up till 3, and then I woke up occasionally throughout. So, you know. 3 by choice or? Yeah, you know, I've been going through some shit. Right. So I've been having to think about a lot lately. Uh, that's none of your fucking business, by the way. That's true. Get fucked. But I love you so much. Like, I, I really do. Like, you guys are great. Sort of. Some of you. I mean, some of you are kind of assholes, but I, I do love you for the most part. But anyway, uh, I think we're done here. That's it. I There's no plug this week. That's it. That's no the end plug. of the episode. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> no plug. Oh, no plug. Oh, you no, got, no, it, you no, got it halfway over. through. Hey, man, that's fair. All right. Uh, See you guys. Love you.